the LNM 152 owned by the Kentucky Railway Museum. So there's many standards and practices associated with doing all aspects of portable work, machinery work, and everything else. They're all there for a reason. Now, some of you heard about why we're replacing the barrel with the, the holes on one green straight and everything. Well, we're replacing the rest of the inner throat because we're having to replace all of the outer throat because of cracking between the holes, which is not uncommon in a really old boiler. But why am I doing what you just saw? When the l &M put these rivets in, the holes have a big step in them. And then as best as we can figure, the, 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 the mud ring holes are tapered going towards the outside they neck down. So you've got to knock the rivets out into the firebox. Well, so what we have to do, turn the rivet out up to the mud ring, and then have to go around the rivet and excavate the feet away all the way down to the mud ring, enlarging the hole and eliminating the step so the rivet can be punched through. 